Yo, what is going on? Hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're going to be breaking down how to create this rotation transition. I think it's a really cool way to just add some energy to your edits, and it's also really simple to do. In After Effects, we're going to begin by creating an adjustment layer. Make this adjustment layer eight frames long. Bring this adjustment layer between these two layers and make sure that there's four frames on the left and then four frames on the right. We're going to be adding a few effects to this adjustment layer. For the first effect, we're going to add a tritone. For this tritone effect, we're going to change the color of the midtone. I'm going to go for more of an icy blue color, but of course you can choose whatever color that you want. And we're going to keyframe the blend with original at 0% at the center. Click that adjustment layer, click U to reveal the keyframes. Go to the beginning, keyframe the blend with original at 100% and also keyframe the end at 100%. Make sure to bring that keyframe towards the end. Easy ease all of those keyframes. For the next effect, we're going to add a directional blur. Keyframe the blur length at 120 and then keyframe both the beginning as well as the end at zero. Easy ease all of those keyframes. And because we added this directional blur effect, it creates transparency on the top edge as well as the bottom edge of our first layer. So in order to fix that, we're going to add a motion tile add the motion tile to the first layer and increase the output height to 200 click mirror edges and then now it gets rid of that transparency and with this transition we want to create that blurry effect as well so we're going to add an exposure keyframe the exposure at three at the center and then keyframe both the beginning as well as the end at zero and of course you want to make sure that you easy ease those keyframes and now we have the first part of the transition done we also want to make sure that we add the motion tile to the second layer as well Go to the first layer, click Control C for that motion tile effect, and then click the second layer, click Control V in order to copy and paste that effect. We're going to now keyframe the rotation as well as the scale for the second layer because we want to create that transition where the second layer rotates and zooms out. So keyframe at the beginning of the second layer, keyframe the rotation at 120 degrees, go forward 12 frames, keyframe that back to zero, and we're going to create that zoom out effect as well. So we're going to really scale this in. Uh, scale that in at around like 1000% and then go forward 12 frames keyframe the scale back to 100% easy ease all four of those keyframes make sure to turn on the motion blur and then we're going to go into the graph editor for the scale keyframes for the right side I'm going to have the influence at 100% so that it animates fast at the start and then it slows down towards the end go to the rotation keyframes and then we're going to create the same exact graph where we have the influence at 100% and in order to really make this transition look even smoother, I'm going to grab all four of these keyframes and just move it back one frame so that as the transition is happening, the second layer is already animating. If that makes sense, it just feels a lot smoother when you overlap the keyframes. This is what we have for our final transition. We have that really smooth rotation zoom out animation with the second layer and then we have the adjustment layer with all the other effects and that is all i have for this video thank you guys for watching make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video